In recent years, the future of work has become a leading topic of discussion among policymakers, academics and international organizations as well as representatives of workers and employers. We are faced with a world where growing globalization and technological advances create interesting opportunities, but also challenges, like social exclusion of huge part of the workers. Formal employment, social protection, and employment tend to decline. In every country, workers continue to face serious and frequent violations of basic workers' rights, which decrease wages and working conditions and reduce income levels. At the ILO governments, employers and workers' organizations are discussion improved governance structures that can lead the future of work to more inclusive human-centered future. For example, the inclusion of OSH in the core conventions, clear descriptions on how to proceed in the economic relaunch programs after COVID. The ACVCSC International Program, an NGO of the Belgian trade union ACVCSC, provides, in collaboration with the Belgian Development Cooperation, technical and financial support for trade unions in Asia. The ACVCSC International Program for Asia is a five-year program ran from 2017 to 2021. The long-term goal of the program is to create decent work in multinational enterprises MNEs, and their supply chains in Asia through the means of social dialogue and the defense of workers' rights. The ACVCSC International S Program for Asia focuses on network development in two main countries, Indonesia. and Cambodia, then integrates wider partnerships Myanmar, Vietnam, Philippines, and Bangladesh, even in some of activity also to involve several GUFs, ITUC and ILO are also involved in the activities for many issues linked to the MNCs. The ACVCSC International aims to improve the implementation of social dialogue, especially for trade unions and in their MNEs networks and the supply chain, to ensure decent work for the welfare of workers and their families. The ACV CSC program in Asia wants to strengthen the capacity of trade unions so that they can run a constructive social dialogue. Trade unions need to have the capacity to negotiate for the workers and defend the interest of the workers towards employers, governments and in international institutions. As trade unions, we are the driving force behind social justice and sustainable development. Therefore, social dialogue and collective bargaining are key for social and economic stability of a society. They bring prosperity to workers and families. Social dialogue is the instrument of excellence to fight against inequality and for the equal redistribution of wealth. The collaboration of trade unions, networking and organizing in MNEs and their supply chains is a key strategy for enhancing intra-company social dialogue. The activities of our program the supply chain of MNEs integrates all domestic foreign firms, actors and formal economy workers associated with the production of products and services of MNEs in Asia. To date, we find the same MNEs organized by different trade unions in Asian countries. The ACVCSC International S Asia program supports trade union initiatives on organizing, service development, capacity building, social dialogue and networking particularly in Cambodia and Indonesia. The end goal is a stronger presence and proper capacity of trade unions to engage in social dialogue with a number of MNEs and companies in their supply chains. Organizing along and within the supply chain, as well as setting up a network of trade unions within the targeted MNE are key tools of this program. And this is the level where we aim at networking and partnerships with unions in other Asian countries on the same MNEs or in certain sectors, garment, construction, mining and minerals, tourism and hospitality, and other sectors.
The ACVCSC International Program for Asia contributes to the SDGs and more specifically Sustainable Development Goal 8. We commit to promote sustainable inclusive and economic growth, productive employment and decent work for all. We started the regional program from the very basic get to know the problems facing the workers in multinational companies and its supply chains. Here founded huge of gaps, no standardization between MNCs and its supply chains, gaps of weights, different protection level or program, contractual status, and many others. It is through series of activities, the direct visit and communication in the countries, the trade union there organizing selected multinational companies and supply chains for exchanges among unions, establish the network, even signing memorandum of understanding among them as the guidance for their work collaboration in the same amenities in different countries. The network also strengthening through contacting and starting up of dialogue with the national and regional management CEOs of the targeted amenity and supply chains in different countries participating in the network or in regional levels. It's following by campaigning on cases inside one specific amenity and supply chains when necessary. យើងកំពុងតោសូរដើម្បីកំណត់ប្រាក់ឈ្មោះរបស់ប៉ាក់ប្រមាណនៅក្នុងវិធីកម្មវិធីបន្ទាប់ទៅបានជួយគ្រប
or short, if the supply chain is in the formal or in the informal economy. With human rights due diligence, the companies will be responsible of what happens all over their chain. And most important, if something goes wrong, they will have to remedy. They will have to compensate the victims, the workers and their families. Therefore, we need national human rights due diligence legislations accompanied by a strong global legislation such as the UN Binding Treaty on Business and Human Rights. Let's strengthen our network better, more useful and effective to defend workers in multinational companies and supply chains. That is what we want!